Are you feeling tired from staring at your screen all day trying to memorize the pathogenesis of Ostertagia ostertagi? Or maybe you've been typing up notes all day and misspelling diarrhea for the thousandth time and you just get so fed up of it. Maybe it's a sign that you need to take a break. In that case, take a break. But wait, maybe you've been lounging on the sofa all day binge watching Queen's Gambit which is such a great show and then realizing your whole day is gone and lack of motivation to do anything else but you know you gotta get some work done otherwise you start feeling anxious I have a solution for you There are many other ways to consume veterinary knowledge and this is one of my favorite ways to do it It is listening to podcasts So here are some podcasts that in my opinion will help you improve your understanding on veterinary knowledge and make learning more enjoyable before we dive into this video, just want to say hi, my name is May. Thanks for being here. I'm a final year vet student at the University of Cambridge and I make videos on vet school life and how to apply to veterinary school. If you haven't already, remember to like and subscribe and let's get into the video. So there are loads of veterinary podcasts out there that I really like, but today I'll focus on the ones that talk about veterinary knowledge that we learn at vet school. So for small animals, there are many options, but my favorites are Vet Girl by Dr. Justine Lee. I think she is the OG of veterinary podcasts she's been around for a really long time and basically she shares bite-sized information from journals and veterinary specialists she's a vet herself from Cornell University and I just think she's really cool her podcasts are about 8 to 15 minutes long some even long about 20 minutes and it's just really nice to hear concise information from scientific papers and for me it makes information stick in my head for example I listened to a podcast about SRMA which is a neurological condition and the common clinical signs are neck pain and you see them commonly in beagles so this kind of information just like it's just randomly in my head now because she spoke about it and it helps me when I do my revision another one is the bark and wag 15 minute vet talk this podcast is 15 minutes long as you can tell and it has interviews with vets and animal behavior specialists and other people in the animal field one thing I like about this podcast is that it talks about behavioral topics in dogs which is something we don't really get at vet school and it's only 15 minutes long so it's nice and concise. So for horses, for equine knowledge, I really really like this podcast called Straight from the Horse's Doctor's Mouth by Dr. Erica Lesher, a horse vet, and her co-host, her husband, Justin Long, and they discuss common topics like laminitis, PPID, eye conditions, grass sickness, and because she's a vet and her husband is not a vet, she breaks it down into easily understandable terms, so like in layman's terms, so it's really easy to absorb and when you revise again with your actual notes with the actual veterinary terms it makes so much sense and it's easier to sort of understand and with everything repetition is key when it comes to revision so you know listening to it while you're on the go and then sitting down and revising it later it helps another thing i like about it is that it breaks things down to layman terms which is helpful when you're explaining what's happening to a horse to a horse owner for example so as vet students we know that the lamina consists of the primary and secondary lamina which are finger-like projections from the tissues that interdigitate and attach to the surface of the coffin bone so obviously you won't say this to a horse owner because it gets a bit confusing i mean i get confused myself sometimes so she describes the lamina as like the velcro inside a hoof wall of the horse and laminitis is the inflammation of this velcro and as it peels off is a very painful condition in horses for farm knowledge i like cody krillman the cow vet so i've only started listening to his podcast recently but he has youtube videos as well you can check out his channel he basically shows his life as a farm vet and a bit of his family life as well as some really cool post-mortems so if you're like a vet student i think you'll be interested in that so his podcasts are mainly like long form content i listened to one about calf scours the other day which was quite interesting and it's just knowledge that by final year we kind of know already but it's nice to listen to it and like revise and when you're doing your chores you know when you're cooking and something it's just easy listening stuff and yeah it makes you feel productive <laughs> and over the summer lockdown i was pretty much alone and i volunteered to do shopping for an elderly man in my neighborhood so whenever i do grocery shopping and i walk to his house and deliver them i would listen to these podcasts and it just became a much more enjoyable experience and it helps me revise at the same time when i don't feel like it which is nice these podcasts are really easy to listen to and i hope that it helps you as it did help me so thank you so much for watching this video if you made it all the way you are a superstar hit the like button and subscribe if you are a pre-vet student check out the vet school chats playlist where it has some useful resources for you and also on my blog and if you're interested to see what life is like as a cambridge vet student check out this playlist and i'll see you in the next video 
And if you are interested in, I've snapped so much that my hand is so tired. Ow. 